Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JL. Time to catch you up on three mods. I think it's only three, maybe four. I don't know that I've done recently with the new Jeep Wrangler. And if you're not familiar with the channel, this is a 2024 Jeep Wrangler JL two door, two liter, four cylinder automatic. Uh, I couldn't get a stick. So let's take a look. We're going to start off right here in the back. I had removed the seat, which I shot a video on, so that shouldn't be any big surprise. But after doing so, I wanted some type of uh, bed mat down here. And I already had a mat from the Tundra that I recently traded for this Jeep Gladiator. Uh, so I decided I would uh, kind of mod the mat, if you will, uh, to come up with something that fit back here. So what I did, I had uh, two pieces, they were combined of course, that made up for the Tundra mat. This is the piece that's left over, a whole other piece the exact same size was on the other end of it of course. So I cut it down the middle and then I went ahead and trimmed the sides and the length as well so that it fit back here in the back of the Wrangler. Now. One other thing that I did, I put a couple of pieces of Velcro uh, right here and right here, the male side, I guess, to hold on to uh, the carpet so that the mat doesn't slide all over the place. And it came out really well. It was slippery before, but now that Velcro end is just enough to hold it down. I didn't put any below, of course, because it grabs on, as I said, to the carpet. Uh, so that should work pretty well. The only issue with this is it is plastic, so or vinyl, whatever you want to call it, rubber. Uh, it's slippery. If I set anything on here, it's going to go flying up there and probably end up underneath the seats, right? So I had another idea. I think what I'm going to do, if you look right here, we've got some bolts and there's a gap between here where well, my finger fits in there between the edge of the bracket here and the bolt itself here. I'm going to get probably just a piece of wood, I'll paint it black, and run it right across here over to the same thing on the other side to create a lip in there, if you will. Just something to keep stuff from sliding up to the uh, seats, if you will. And you don't need much. What will fit in those slots in between the screw and the, the edge of the bracket, it's the seat belt holder, of course. Uh, is about a half an inch. So I can just put a half an inch piece of square wood or whatever in there. I could even use quarter round or something um, and run it right across. I won't even really notice it because again it will be painted in black so should be pretty good. While we're back here there is another quick little thing that I did. I put some uh, grab handles on the back of the seats really doesn't serve a big purpose unless you're crawling in here I guess and want to grab onto something to pull yourself forward uh, but they add a little bit of aesthetic appeal I think to the inside of the Jeep and I had them laying around from other vehicles so I thought eh, why not what the heck now another thing that I did recently let's go ahead and put the thing down here is uh, I added changed out the wheels and tires now, what you can see on here, this is a 17-inch wheel. We had 17-inch before. They are KMC wheels. Not sure how well. There we go. KMC wheels. They're black. I went with the round holes, kind of staying with a Jeepish kind of theme, if you will. And then I went with Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. I went with Falcon Wild Peaks because... They are the best tire that I've had as far as ride quality and gripping the road when it's wet. And they're still kind of a, an all-terrain, really. So you could use them off-road if you want to. Now, size-wise, this is where it gets uh, a little bit interesting. I went, and I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but I went with a 265-70 R6, or R17, rather. Obviously, it's a 17, but a 265-70. Now, I went back and forth in going with a 285 or a 275. 275 was my choice. But what I found was 275s in two different tires I looked at, and Falcon Wild Peaks were always going to be the choice, I think, um, only came in a heavier-duty, higher-ply tire, if you will. 
that would have made the ride much more firm, rough, uh, because it's more designed to take the abuse of off-roading, right? So I went with these uh, because I did not want that kind of a, a change, I guess, in the ride quality of the Jeep. Very happy that I did. And looking at it now, and I'll show you, first of all, down the side of the Jeep, you can see I've got some wheel poke. That's due to the negative offset. It's a negative six, I believe, uh, on the wheels themselves. I'd have to check that to be sure. It's either a negative six or negative 12. Pretty sure it's a negative six. Uh, but anyway, you can see I get some wheel poke. And looking at the fender uh, from here, uh, comparing it to this edge, ends up being, man, it looks like about three inches or so. You can see it up in the front as well. Exactly what I wanted. Love the look of it. I didn't want to go too far. By the way, kudos to Discount Tire. They actually brought in some 285s for me to look at as well. And I decided the 285s gave me more than I wanted. Plus would have been heavier and I didn't want to weight the Jeep down any more than I had to. So let's take a look at it from the side. Love the look of it now. I think it looks pretty darn cool myself. Uh, of course, I'm biased, you know, I picked them out, but love the way it looks. I think it's a nice, aggressive look for the Jeep. Uh, it came out really well. I did remove the closeouts. I did a video showing how to do that. You guys can see, obviously, they're gone. So you can see the front of the tire now. Again, just a more aggressive look on the Jeep itself. Came out really well, I think. Always recommend removing that. Of course, you may suffer in fuel economy yeah, because it's designed, I think, to make the Jeep the square that it is. More aerodynamic. Eh, I don't really care. I didn't buy it for fuel economy. I'll drive this if I'm concerned with fuel economy. 52 miles per gallon over there, by the way. Lastly, the third thing that I've done recently is I had the windows tented today. I went with a 20%, which is not legal by the way but I went with the 20 percent to try to match up with the rear windows and it's kind of hard to see here they do match up really well because of the shading and lighting it's kind of difficult to see there was a concern that they may have been a lot darker than what the factory privacy shade is I guess that's what they call it you get that on most SUVs rear windows and things but I think it actually looks pretty darn close to me. It looks like a real close match. And of course, with the house kind of shining or shadow or reflection on the, on the window itself, it's lighter, so it makes it look lighter. But believe me, in person, it really is a pretty good match. Anyway, just uh, bringing you guys up to date with what I've done so far on the Wrangler. Uh, love this thing. I don't know why I didn't buy a Wrangler a few years ago. I've always been a fan of the two-door Wrangler. Um, I don't know. Don't know why I didn't, but glad I have one now. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it so far. I'd be curious to know. And I've got lots more stuff to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.